an order of service for noonday. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 99. The Lord is king. Let the peoples tremble. He sits upon enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. Mighty king, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Extol the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called on his name. They cried to the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them in a pillar of cloud. They kept his decrees and the statutes that he gave them. O Lord, our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Extol the Lord, our God, and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord, our God, is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Hebrews. And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promises, shut the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Others were tortured, refusing to accept release in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others suffered mocking and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned to death, they were sawn in two, they were killed by the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, persecuted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in caves and holes in the ground. Yet all these, though they were commended for their faith, did not receive what was promised since God had provided something better so that they would not, apart from us, be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is a commemoration of the holy men of the Old Testament. Someday, perhaps, we'll have a day of commemoration of the holy women of the Old Testament. The pages of the Old Testament are like a lens through which we can see something of the lives of some remarkable men. Their lives and thoughts brought the people of their time into touch with God. Some we can see clearly, others only faintly. But what they did and said or inspired others to write are a treasure for us today. The word holy in the title Holy Men of the Old Testament is not so much about an achieved sanctity or perfection 
as a particular people who played important roles in interpreting to Israel the purposes of God in the covenant. The story can be traced from Abraham through Moses, Samuel, David, and the prophets to those who, sometimes at great personal cost, kept reminding Israel of its call and laying the foundations of our own historical faith. The story spans many centuries, beginning with Abraham, who went out in faith, not knowing where he was going, but in obedience to God. Moses played an important part not only in the escape from Egypt, but in fashioning the liberated Hebrew slaves into God's people. Joshua led them into Canaan. Samuel, judge and kingmaker, provided some important new directions. And David, as king, poet, and musician, became the focus of many of Israel's aspirations and gave them words to sing the Lord's song. In Israel's turbulent history, the people found faithfulness to the covenant hard and were recalled to their purpose by prophets such as Amos, Hosea, and Isaiah, who did much to link the worship of God with the building of a just society. In the devastation of the exile to Babylon, Jeremiah and Ezekiel again reinterpreted Israel's vocation and the anonymous prophet at the end of the exile who added to Isaiah's words looked beyond restoration to a new heaven and a new earth. Haggai and Zechariah were part of the restoration after the exile, and then Israel was eventually rebuilt under the determined leadership of Nehemiah and Ezra in the next century. The story did not end there. And the later lives of the Maccabees provided stories of the heroism and endurance of those who sought to remain faithful to the covenant of God with Israel. Then came another turning point, as Jesus and the early church were seen in the Christian tradition as the inheritors of this vision and this purpose. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bound your people to yourself in a covenant of grace and sent patriarchs and prophets to keep them faithful in their journey. Grant that we who are heirs of your promise may be true to the challenge of the gospel and its demands of love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, into the darkness of our world a world where there is injustice, racial tension, and war, where many people still lack the basics of food and clean water. Come, Lord Jesus, into the uncertain future of migrants who risk everything to escape atrocities, yet know that they could still end up paying with their lives. Come, Lord Jesus, into our communities, where many are struggling with layoffs and debt, and food banks have become a lifeline for those in need. Come, Lord Jesus, into the darkness of our cities, where greed and discrimination make misery in people's lives. Come, Lord Jesus, into our lives and into the lives of those for whom we are concerned. Bring comfort to the bereaved and to those who are struggling to cope with life on their own. Come, Lord Jesus, give reassurance where there is fear and confidence where there is doubt. Wherever people are hurting, come and let your light shine. Amen. Loving God, we gather in this season of promise to worship you and sing your praise. We praise you for your love and for your faithfulness, for you are the source of all hope and from you all joy springs. 
You are the one we expect, but your coming is always unexpected. You are the one who turns everything upside down, and you make all things new. Advent, a God of surprises, we worship you, and we wait for you to awaken our wonder and astound us with your arrival. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 